What is going on to all my movie fans out there and welcome back to my channel Movie Files. Today we are here to discuss the new drama which premiered at the Sundance Film Festival and won the Grand Jury Prize Award and that is 1001. Now over the past weekend I got a chance to check this out in theaters and in today's video I'm going to share my pros and my cons but by the end of this review I'm going to let you all know if this is worth checking out in theaters. But before we get into it let's start the conversation in the comments below. Let me know if you all were aware of this movie and if you were excited to check it out and of course once you've seen it let's talk about it. Let me know what worked, what didn't work, what you think about the direction, the story, the performances, the themes that this film has to tackle. Let's have those conversations in the comments below and of course if you all enjoyed today's review you consider hitting that like button as well as sharing today's video so first off as far as my awareness of this movie shout out to the star tiana taylor who i'm a big fan of she promoted it on her instagram and i always love when the small independent films whether it's the star of the movie or supporting cast member when they have an audience and they promote their films because if it wasn't because of her i don't know if i would have heard of this movie so shout out to her we'll definitely be talking about her a little bit later with her performance but also shout out to focus features because i wasn't given a, there wasn't a press screening out here for this movie but they sent out this mass email for the public and general audience to come and see this film on Saturday and Sunday I'm so glad I took advantage of that because this film spoke to me, y'all. Because And that's where I want to kind of kick this review off with as far as the personal connection, the relatability factors that this film had to offer for me. Number one, as a black man, being raised by a single parent, my mom and my grandmother was there to help out. I have a huge and affinity appreciation from that narrative that this film had to offer. And then the other layer to that, I'm always appreciative and always love when you see a single parent raising their kid and trying to do right by them and trying to give them more. And there's that element that I appreciated. But then the other extra layer to it, watching this film, seeing a single black mother raising a black male. That's my story. So there's that relatability factor that I gravitate towards. But then you might say to yourself, well, that's not my personal story. Where well, that's where the film comes in with the multiple layers, the multiple themes. We have themes that I think anyone and everyone has either experienced or either are aware of gentrification, young parenting, acceptance, self-discovery. There's a coming of age story here. There's knowing your self-worth. So again, even though my story might not be your story, there's so many things that this film has to offer that I think anyone and everyone can relate to. And when you have all those different themes and you have all the different subject matters that this film is tackling, you might say to yourself, that sounds like a lot that's going on. Well, you have to have someone behind the scenes writing the story, directing the story to make it come all together. And that's what the director of this film, A.V. Rockwell, did such a fantastic job of doing so. Now this marks her directorial debut. She's done some short films, she's done some music videos, but this is one of those directorial debuts that makes me a fan of her forever. Like the next time she does a project, I'm gonna be the first one in line because you can just see the passion just coming off the screen. The blood, the sweat, the tears, the attention to detail. There is a story to be told. There is a beginning, a middle, and an end. There's arcs, there's developments, there's so much that she does does not only from a directional standpoint but the writing of this film was superb so av rockwell again making your directorial debut you couldn't you, you fooled me i tell you that because you would have thought you've been doing this for years because you did such a great job of bringing this narrative to home so again very great job from that perspective but transitioning to the performances y'all again i mentioned tiana taylor who i've been following since mtv's my Swix Teen birthday whatever that show was 10 15 years ago and seeing her transitioning into to being a musical artist, doing music videos, seeing her making appearances in movies every now and then. And to my knowledge, this is her first time being the leading star of her own vehicle. And she did a hell of a job. She plays our main character who could be looked at as someone that you don't want to mess with because as soon as you meet this character, she's coming out of prison. So she has a tough exterior, but then as the film progresses, you know she has a heart of gold. When you're in her inner circle, she's going to take care of you. Now, that doesn't mean that it doesn't come with a couple, you know, wrong decisions. There's some lies and some skeletons in her closet, but that's the thing I love about this character. And that's what I love about any character is give me multiple layers. Give me a complex, uh, a character that has a, some a tragic past, a character that does have flaws because that makes it more of a human story. You don't have to have a perfect character. You have to have a relatable character. So I love the funk, the juice, the, the swag she brought to this role as someone that she's, you know, representing Harlem and 
everything she brings to the role and just seeing her as a young parent, not knowing what to do. And as we kind of have different time jumps in the film, you see the progression of the story. You see the progression of the character. So I just thought that she was fantastic. Also got to bring up Will Catlett, who plays Lucky, who's kind of the male figure in this situation, who is the love interest of our main character, but also a fatherly kind of male figure within our other character who we'll be talking about here in a second. So I thought that he was fantastic as Lucky. I want a little bit more of him. We'll talk about that later, but he was great. But speaking of great, the film focuses on a young mother who kidnaps her son from the foster care system and we're watching them kind of navigate trying to find home. And it's in that synopsis and it's in my breakdown here of our character, Terry. They call him T and we see him from six years old, 13 years old to 17 years old. And I just saw a little bit of myself in that character because, again, I talked about my personal story being raised by a single mother. And again, it's not easy. Right. So there's ups and downs to all that different relationship there. But the relationship that we see between Terry and his mom was just something that just really spoke to me. And I thought that from the six year old version of him to the 13 year old to 17 year old, why they didn't all like look alike. But that's just something that I really didn't care about. They all did a great job of finding the foundation of that character and all doing a great job of portraying a young man growing up during this time because we're covering early 90s into the early 2000s and seeing what it is to be a black man in America, to see his vulnerable side, to see him struggling with self-identity, coming of age, all the different things that you go through as a kid and growing up to become a man. I love seeing that story. It kind of has like a moonlight vibe to it. But again, I thought all three actors did such a phenomenal job of bringing Terry to light. And just, again, the relatability factor of it all just really spoke to me. But speaking of love, the cinematography was fantastic. The soundtrack, the score of this film was just amazing. And again, it's in New York. And I love how New York has an influence on this film. And again, the relatability of it all. We don't really see these many stories of mothers and sons, black mothers with their black sons. So I really came to appreciate that narrative of the film. But hey, the movie isn't perfect. There are some things as far as some criticisms that I have with this movie. Number one, while I enjoy the opening sequences and the first act of the film, I like the first act, but I love act two and act three. So I would say out of the three act structure, the first half, it took a little bit to find its momentum for me personally. But then as I talk talked about earlier there's so many themes and metaphors and so many different things that this film is tackling that I that some unfortunately some of those stories don't get fully developed they hint towards again there's justification there's parenting there's being a black male there's male vulnerability there's what is it being a black man of America in this time so there's so many themes that's tackling that not everything gets a fully developed arc and there's also certain relationships I wish were expanded on a little bit more I mentioned how lucky was such a great character and a male figure in Terry's life I wish we could have spent more time with that relationship but honestly, that's all I got for you all as far as my criticism. So before I get into my overall score, and if this win was worth checking out, I want to thank you all for sticking around to this point in the video. Just a reminder, if you're enjoying today's commentary, hit the thumbs up, share, comment, and subscribe. Overall, I am so happy that I saw this film over the weekend because, again, from a relatable standpoint, there was just so much I took away from this narrative. I saw myself in this, in this narrative. I'm so happy that the story is being out there for so many people to see. And I just love what the direction had to offer, the story, the performances. And overall, y'all, I'm going to give 1001 a solid 4 out of 5. And to answer that question that I posed up top, should you see this in theaters? Yes. Go see it if you get the opportunity to. I know not every theater is going to have it, but if you see it in your local theater, you're not going to be disappointed. And when you all see this film, let's talk about it in the comments, your pros, your cons, your thoughts on the direction, the story, the narrative, performances, and everything this film had to offer. Let's have those conversations in the comments section. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching this review. Again, I thank you for sticking around to this point. Hope you all enjoyed today's commentary. If you did, just a reminder to like, share, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell. Hope you all are staying safe. Hope you all had a good time. As you can see on the screen now, come and join the community. Check out all my other reviews that I've done so far this year. Check out my most recent breakdown, and we'll catch you all on the next video.